hello guys today i am going to be showing you how you can download and set up the b -Pad i am alive confirmation software my name is uh, zorokwam nelson welcome to my youtube channel so first of all what you would do is um you need to open up your browser um you go over to ppad.gov.ng on the website at the right hand side here you can see where you have the i am a live link please click on it then um, you scroll down to the fingerprint confirmation you may want to reach all these through all these instructions we have here you may want to to read it through but i'm going to go over um, what they mean by uh, all this here okay so first of all they said the pensioner will need to have access to a computer system with fingerprint uh, device for fingerprint capturing then secondly ensure you have .NET framework runtime 4.7.2 and um, .NET desktop runtime 5.0.7 are installed on your pc um so at this point i think you just need to go over to this number three on number three you will see where they, they said click here to download the MLive setup folder extract all files and uh, install on your computer on your computer one after the other yeah so that is exactly uh, what i'm going to be doing on this video so first let's click here mm. okay to install to download i mean so i'm downloading the um, compressed files this compressed file contains all you need to set up the i am alive uh, confirmation software i'm going to click open folder so this is the file I have uh, downloaded. I right click. If you have 7-zip, you can use 7-zip to extract. If you don't, you can say extract all. Here, if you're using Windows 10, you will definitely see extract all. So click on extract all. And uh, of course, go with extract. All right, so the file has been extracted. And um, in what was extracted, we still have some other um, compressed files. This is the I am alive setup, the software itself, and um, this is the driver for the fingerprint. So all this needs to be to be installed for our um, software to work. So I'm going to extract them one after the other. to extract this one too this time around i will use 7 zip it's faster let me extract this one also so now i am done extracting these files you can see here i now have wing um, folder representations of them so i can go ahead and uh, delete these files so I now have them here as folders. So I am going to, um, first of all, I'm going to start with this on installation. I will run this uh, .exe here. You double click. You check the I agree to license uh, terms and conditions. Click install. Of course, yes. So my um, my fingerprint driver has been installed successfully. You can see that Secugen WBF 2.5 driver um, installation successfully completed. You close this. You can go back. 
um in my experience i don't really think we need to install this but um, since they included it there must be a reason so let's go ahead and uh, install this is like um the sdk usually it's meant for the people that built the software so i don't know why they want us to install it so we start my computer no i will restart later so you go back again now you, you now need to install the p pad i am alive setup so click on the folder you can double click on the setup click install so here it's telling me that i do not have you can see the following component will be installed on your machine so there is a prerequisite um, prerequisites are software you need on your system to be able to run a certain software so most softwares need you to have some software already installed be be before they can run so it's like independent independency so the software i want to install is depending on another software so i need that software installed before my software can work um, properly so this is one of the software so it's telling me because i want to install p patch i am a live setup that i need dotnet desktop runtime 5.0.7 um i need it installed on my system before the p -tad can work um, correctly so i will click install here to say okay go ahead and download it and uh, install on my machine so here the download is um going on now you can see I'm downloading file one of one so it's trying to download this dotnet uh, runtime for me um i would have done this separately i would have gone to download there is a website that can download this dotnet uh, um, desktop runtime um, i would have gone to download it separately then come back and uh, and install the peter that i'm alive but this seemed like a better way understand it seems like a better way so when you try to install the peter that i'm alive it tells you you should also it helps you to also download the dotnet desktop runtime so let me click here and say yes to install so it's going to take a while to completely install all right, so the .NET desktop runtime has installed successfully, I believe. So now the Peter that I'm alive setup has kickstarted. You can see that here. Welcome to the Peter that I'm alive set, um, setup wizard. So I just need to follow up, follow this wizard to install my Peter that I'm alive um, software. I'm going to click next, click next, click next. <laughs> We don't want to change any of these things so leave them the way they are and uh, our installation is complete i will close this out now and also close the folder close this one close this one so here you can see i have the petard i'm alive software right here you can see i'm going to double click to open it up so um sometimes there are sometimes when you try to open up this uh, software and you know you keep clicking it and it doesn't open i have experienced it before so in that case what you 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 would do is um you need to come to the software if you're using windows if you're using windows 10 to come to the software you right click and say open file location so it brings you to the um, folder where this uh, shortcut file is you need to go to say manage then you do run as administrator you can see it here run as administrator you say yes 
and the software will also be open for you all right let me close this so now i have like two instances of the software open i will close one so here you need to now go ahead to do your 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 verification i'm not a pensioner i don't have any pensioners number so i'm going to leave this the way it is now i can't go any further but i believe what you should do from here now there is some sort of pensioner number you need to enter maybe your pensioner number or if you own a cafe um you can get a pensioner the, um, you can get the pensioner's number from whoever is coming to do this verification. You key it in here and uh, you do you do procedure. All right. So um, when I if I'm able to get a pensioner um, valid a valid pensioner's number, I'm going to do another video explaining to you the steps you can take to um, successfully verify or confirm a pensioner so for now the essence of this video is showing you how you can set up the ppad i am alive software how you can install and set it up that's what we have done we um, we went over to the website we downloaded an, a, um, a compressed file we extracted the files um, and the files is containing three um, three softwares that we need to install we installed them um, the first one we installed the second one um, which um, the first and the second one are related to the um, to the to the fingerprint um, device then we installed the main P that I am alive confirmation software so those are the steps that we, we took and mind you the device the fingerprint device the beta that my life software is using is this it's called sequigen that is the one i have here you can see what i have here is what they call the sequigen hamster plus so this is the device you will need to get you can see the bottom and the main device it's attached to each other you so you need you need to get this device what i see sometimes is that um most of you guys try to use this i believe this is what jam and nyc is using but in the case of um peter that i'm alive um they are not using this it's stated there on if you go to, over to youtube they have a channel where they um where, where it's stated that the peter um i'm alive uses sequigen scanner that is the, this this is the sequigen you can see what i have here that is sequigen so don't don't start trying to use the um, digital personal it will not work you must use the sequigen device so that is it i'm going to bring this video to an end if um if the, if the video was helpful please like the video and also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and um have a great day but